Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I show you the unique features of the WorldPop platform for accessing global population data and its analysis tools, so you can easily discover the information you need. Before anything else, I'd be grateful if you like and subscribe to our channel and super like or join our membership for more supports. Alright guys, to get started, we firstly have to enter the WorldPop website. I attached the website link in the description for easy access. Now, I click on view more WorldPop data to see additional data. Okay, if you scroll down, a series of portals for viewing datasets on the website is available. For example, births, pregnancies, urban change, and other portals. And if I go back, the main datasets of the website are available in this section. Let's click on the first one, which is the population count. All right, here we have a full description of the dataset. By scrolling down, we see that datasets are available for both the year 2020 and also from 2000 to 2020. Let's click on one of the individual countries. Okay, as you can see, the datasets are available to download in GeoTIFF and XYZ format. It's loading the GeoData for now. I wait for that. All right, now we can filter the results based on continent and country. As you can see, the data for the whole world is available. Now I'm going to click on one of them. Let's click on Argentina dataset. Okay, this is the Argentina population for 2000. Here you can see its image. On the right side, you can read some explanations and data files that can be downloaded. If you aim to download the data for a particular region, it's better to use the search bar. It'll get you there more quickly than searching manually. For example, here I search for Italy. As you can see, it lists all the data sets, and you can download them for each year. Okay, let's go back to the portal section and use another data set. This time, I click on population density. Scroll down and click on the individual countries 2000 to 2020. This time, I filter the results based on the year. And download the dataset for China as an example. Let's go back and download another one, then import them all to QGIS. This time, I download the Urban Change dataset. All right, guys, in the main page of the website, there is another interesting section that I want to show you. It's the WorldPop Demographics Portal. Here we can access the demographic groups data separately. On the right side, we should choose a year to see the data for that specific year. The data are available until 2020. Then you should choose an age group. Next, we have to determine the gender. Then the values are displayed. Let's change the gender. Also, I changed the age group. Then I changed the gender for the selected age group. Let's zoom in to see the changes in detail. As you can see, and according to the legend on the right, the darker the areas, the higher the percentage of people in those areas according to the applied filters and vice versa.
All right, let's go back to the QGIS software to import the downloaded data sets. Now I import all the downloaded data. Then I change the symbology of the layers. And there it is, the layers are ready. You can also display the Google Earth image for better viewing. As you can see, now we have a better interpretation over the areas. Or you can display an OSM image. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me on this video. If you found this helpful, give us a thumb up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments what other platforms you'd like me to explore. See you in the next video.